Driving games used to be one of my favorite genres. Mostly because the simplicity of the genre and the fact that it usually meant pick up and play. That was before hardware limitations got out of the way letting developers produce games that put me in lifelike driving situations. However, it's not every time I play a driving or racing game that I want it to be hyper realistic. If I want realism, I can take the car to work. Horizon Chase Turbo is one of around a billion different racing games, and what I like about it is that it's not a hyper realistic experience, but something else. So what makes this game stand out? I'm sure you've all heard about OutRun, and if you're around 65 years old as me, you might even have played it. Horizon is like if you took the design brief from OutRun and gave it to a developer today, this is what you would get. A pick up and play title that's good for the casual gaming session. It's obvious that Horizon Chase Turbo drew inspiration from classics of the 80s and the 90s such as OutRun, Top Gear, Lotus Turbo Challenge and many more. And just the fact that you get to drive a Ferrari looking car, I believe a F50 Spider, that reminds of the Testarossa from OutRun where you had a blonde bombshell in the passenger seat, makes it super clear that this is a love letter to the genre. The difference here is that the blonde bombshell is the one driving and the guy is sitting in the passenger seat. There's a few modes of play to go through in this game. Tournament, World Cup, Playground mode and more. You can also do split screen racing with friends and it's in this mode I think the game is a gem, competing with friends over a drink or eight. When it comes to tracks to drive I've got no clue how many there are but I would guess around 50-60 tracks. The car models look great and are based on real life cars such as the Koenigsegg Agera or my favorite, the Toyota Sprinter Trueno. I'm not sure if it's because of licensing issues that they've got other names such as Bliss, Deja Vu and Spectre, but it's no question that these are modeled from real life cars. As always, you only start with a few and unlock more on the way and I believe that there's something like 30 plus cars to unlock in this game. It's clear that these cars handles and behaves differently and myself I loved playing with that starter car, the Ferrari F50 Spider with the blonde bombshell. Worth mentioning is that there's also upgrades to do on the cars. Race on certain tracks and you will get rewarded with upgrades that not only will make you faster, cooler and more fuel efficient, but it also affects all the cars. This is more Garfield Kart Furious Racing than Forza Motorsport, and I like that. Every racing game doesn't have to be super advanced and more or less a simulation. The word that keeps on popping into my head when I think about this game is rails. This is somewhat of a rails racer as in the car handles as in a race. It's therefore nearly impossible to get thrown out of the track and the only real problem is keeping the car from hitting other cars on the track. This can be a big pain some of the time when driving and I've had a few runs when I keep bouncing between the cars like a pinball. The track design, it consists of low poly environments textured with gradient textures. This makes the design colorful and fun and even though some tracks are a bit empty and frankly kinda boring, some of the tracks are color bombs that are sure to stand out since they're both fun and looks good. One good example is the LA track with the Hollywood sign in the backdrop. One awesome thing about this game is that it's smooth as a polished prune. The game runs at a smooth 60fps and 1080p in duct mode and 720p 60fps in handheld mode. This is super smooth and complements the great car and level design perfectly. This game has an overall great look and would be fantastic in its own arcade cabinet, preferably a sit down with some banging speakers. This is truly an homage to OutRun and the other arcade racers that we saw decades ago. The games that had to be simple due to hardware constraints. And this one is presented as a nice passion project to these types of games. The downside to this is that there's some lack in the gameplay. Just press the button, avoid hitting the other cars and keep an eye on the fuel gauge and you will eventually win. This is racing on rails and if you run out of gas you're toast, but try to pick up fuel cans along the way and that will be no problem. There's also coins you can pick up. If you take all you will get a speed boost and if you win you will get a super trophy. Myself I think this is a great title. 
a cozy, nice, casual experience. My son, on the other hand, who is more of a hardcore gamer than me, said after a few crashes, Man, this is a game for people with small pieces. And F these hitboxes sucks. If Horizon is not for hardcore gamers, such as my son, who is this for? I would say that it's perfect for casual racing with a few friends in the couch or if you don't want that super serious simulation experience, cause if you want a complete driving experience, there's other games out there. As you might know, I've been working on racing games before, which led to playing racing games 10 hours a day for almost 2 years. I've tried a few in my days and I think this is a fresh take on the racing genre that you should definitely check out. I think this is a perfect title for me to do some driving when I got a few minutes to spare. Until next time, stay safe, stay gold and keep your head down.